a small fish story, an Irish folk tale. When St. Nicholas was generous to others, he did not lead a grand life for himself. He was even once a beggar who traveled all over the country with only the clothes on his back, his staff, and an old wooden pail. One day, he came to a little town by the sea where almost no one was willing to help him. All day, he stood on the street asking for alms, but by the time evening fell, only three people had taken pity on him. A fisherwoman, a woman, and a priest. Strangely enough, each of them had given him the same thing, not a coin, but a small fish. He put all three of these fish in his pail filled with water and walked on until he came to a house with a very poor widow who lived in it with her children. Think in your pardon, madam. Why does a person stay here overnight? To be sure, the widow answered wearily. But we only have water, soup, and a crust of bread for supper. Oh, supper won't be a problem, madam. Look here, I have fish and you can fry them up and we can have the children and we'll eat them together. The widow looked doubtful into the beggar's pail. She had no way of knowing that the three little fish had been growing in there. By the time she saw them, they had become quite large. What a joy, the woman cried. I haven't seen such big fish for such a long time, and not even at the market. One fish, two fish, three fish do I see. Plenty for me, children, and enough for me. She happily lit a fire and began to cook the fish over the glowing coals. While she was about her work, St. Nicholas said, Do you have a pail? Oh, yes, indeed I do, she said. I'll thank you to fill it with water and bring it to me, said St. Nicholas. The woman did as, she, as he asked, and soon the fish were ready to eat. And how delicious they were. The widow and her children were so hungry they left nothing but the bones. And St. Nicholas said, Don't throw away all those bones. Give them to me instead. The children and their mother looked at one another in surprise. What is he up to? They said. And they were so grateful for a good meal at last that they didn't question St. Nicholas. After they had eaten, the family laid the bones of all three fish on a plate. And Nicholas picked up the bones by the tail and threw them into the widow's pail. Again, everyone was surprised. What is he doing? They wondered. And then at the window, as he was about to carry the pail outside to empty it, she noticed that the three live fish were swimming in the water from where the bones used to be. What? She gasped. How could that be? One fish, two fish, three fish do I see, plenty for my children and enough for me. Who knew where the fish came from but St. Nicholas? And by that time, he was sound asleep. The next morning, the good saint said, Madam, please fix these fish for breakfast. The woman gladly did so, and once again everyone had enough to eat. When they were finished, again St. Nicholas said, Bring me the pail and give me the bones. And he threw the bones into the water and continued, You must always do this. That way you will always have fish, and you and your children won't be hungry ever again. Then the saint swung his wooden pail over the end of his staff, said goodbye, and walked off down the road. The widow and her children never saw St. Nicholas again, but they lived well for a long time, and at last, one day, the mother left a single child alone at home while she and the others went to visit relatives. The child at home, of course, got hungry, hungry as children do, and so he tiptoed over to the widow's pail and looked in. One fish, two fish, three fish do I see, enough for the others, but plenty for me. With that, he scooped out one of the fish and fried it for himself. Afraid that his mother would find out and scold him, he threw the bones away. When the widow returned, the first thing she did was to go to the pail and prepare dinner. One fish, two fish. But now there were not three fish swimming in the water, there were only two. And from then on, they had to be plenty enough for them, that, that two fish had to be plenty enough for all of them. That's an anticlimactic story. It's a Christmas story from Ireland, so there you go. <laughs> Oh, 
successfully that the shortbread was not a biscuit, but a specialty item of flour and confectionery delight. 